hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is a beginner lower body dumbbell only routine so i've asked you guys what workouts would you like to see more of and you all said lower body workouts legs glutes that good stuff and something that i want to tell you guys is that you don't need to do a lot of different exercises to have an effective workout so i see a lot of girls doing 10 15 different leg exercises on leg day or for their glutes and that's just too much all you need is like a handful of exercises for an effective workout I'll use myself for example on my leg day I only have about five exercises for my leg day I combine my basic compound lifts with my isolation lifts and I'm good to go that is all you need so if you're the type of girl who has like 20 different exercises listed out for your leg day cut that down basic compound exercises like squats squats are um, the only compound exercise for your legs and then you have other exercises which i will show you today and you've probably seen it on my page a million times but i'm going to break it down for you and that is all you need so don't overdo with the exercises because there's to be honest, there's only a handful of exercises that actually really work that are more effective than others. And those are just the ones that you need. So consistently doing these set of exercises over a period of time and making sure that you progress with your weights, your sets, your reps, that is what gets you the results that you want. Fitness is not complicated. I know a lot of you think that it is, but it's not. All you need is to be consistent and that's all. So in today's video, like I said, it's a beginner workout, dumbbell only. If you are just starting off your fitness journey, if you're going to the gym for the first time and you're not really familiar with a lot of the machines and the equipment, because I know how intimidating it can be, you can still get a really great workout in with just dumbbells. So I'm gonna show you guys five of my top leg and glute exercises that you can do at the gym if you're a beginner or even if you're not a beginner right if you're going to the gym and you're short on time and there's minimal space you can do these exercises so for this entire workout you're going to do five sets of each exercise 10 to 15 reps each okay so let's get started i'm going to use light weights if you are a beginner you want to start off light so i'm going to grab the 5 kg dumbbells now the first exercise that i recommend that you do any leg day any glute day are romanian deadlifts okay these exercise targets your hamstrings and your glutes as well remember that your glute muscle and your hamstring muscles are connected so you're going to be targeting these two muscle groups regardless of what exercise that you do on your leg day. So what you're gonna do is you're going to have your feet closer than shoulder width apart. So when you're doing this, uh, when you're doing a squat, your legs are going to be shoulder width apart. But when you're doing a Romanian deadlift, it's going to be closer like this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go, put your arms out in front of you with your weights down, and you are going to push your hips backwards. You see how I'm slightly keeping my knees bent? That is how you should be doing a RDL. So you're gonna go down, look at my hips, I'm pushing my glutes back, I'm pushing my butt back. And you're gonna go down. You don't have to go all the way down to your toes. I like to start like slightly below my knee right here. And you're going to feel the pull in your hamstrings. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 reps. Let's go. So one, and make sure that you are keeping your movements slow and controlled. Control your weights. Do not ever let your weights control you. When you come up, you're going to slightly tuck your glutes in. Do not hyper extend. Down, come up and tuck slightly. You're going to feel the pull in your hamstrings. Four. five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the final one, 10. All right, go ahead and drop your dumbbell. So the reason why I like to keep my movements slow is because this allows my muscles more time under tension. So you're gonna feel the burn a little bit more. And also I just love the feeling of 
just controlling my weights and feeling my muscles working and pulling and contracting. So it's not about how quickly you can get through a workout. Don't try to get through your workout quickly, okay? So you wanna make sure that your form is correct and you're, you know, controlling your weights. So, great. Next exercise that we are gonna do are sumo squats. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop these dumbbells and now all you need is one single dumbbell. I'm gonna grab the 10 kg. Now for this exercise, you want something that's slightly heavier, okay? So 10 kg, is what I recommend that you start with. So for a sumo squat, it's not the basic squat. This time your feet is going to be wider than shoulder width apart. And also you are going to tilt your toes to point outwards, not forward, out. Dumbbell in hand. And now we're gonna go down into a squat. Slow and controlled, 10 reps, let's go. One. Two, remember to slightly squeeze your glutes, don't hyperextend. Three, Nine, last one, and 10. Whew. Okay, I felt that. All right, good job. So I'm gonna take 15 second break. All right, oh, we need to take a seat. So for the next workout, we have a dumbbell hip thrust. I personally like to use a barbell when I'm doing a hip thrust, but as a beginner, a dumbbell can also do the job, okay? So you can start with a 10 kg dumbbell or 15 kg, um, but I have a 10 kg right here. Choose whatever weight is comfortable for you. So start off light if you have to, and then work your way up to a heavier um, dumbbell. So I have my bench right here and I'm going to go down. Now, when you are doing a hip thrust, because this is one of the exercises that a lot of you girls get wrong when it comes to form. Form is key when doing any exercise, especially a hip thrust. So, one thing when doing a hip thrust, you want to make sure that your knees and your toes are aligned. Do not have your feet too far back and don't have your feet too close up aligned with that knee and your toes. When it comes to your back, right below your shoulder, slightly. And also, you want to keep your chin tucked, okay? So when you have the weight right here, you are going down with the weight, coming back up, chin tucked, head straight ahead, okay? Pretend like we have weights here. You go down, you're moving with your weights, come up, you go down and you're going to tuck your glutes in. So it's a tuck. I see a lot of girls do this. All the way back, stiff, and this, okay? You wanna make sure that you're moving with your weights. So now that we've got our form together, we're going to grab our weights right here, or you can rotate it, we'll use this. So let's go, 10 reps, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good. Whew. The glutes are on fire. 
in a good way, of course. So I'm gonna rest for 15 seconds. So the fourth exercise that we have are Bulgarian split squats. I know this is an exercise that a lot of people love to hate, but they are really great for working the glutes and also targeting the other muscles in your legs. So I have with me a pair of five kg dumbbells. Start off light. When you're doing a Bulgarian split squat, especially if you want to focus on glute engagement, there's a key to doing a Bulgarian split squat. So I recommend that when you are doing this exercise, you keep your head down like this, as if you're looking at your toes. So this is going to put a lot of the weight and the emphasis right here in your legs and also your glutes. So as opposed to doing it this way, because I know that I see a lot of people do it straight up like this, you want to now bend, all right? So look down on the ground and you're going to go down, up, just like this. You're going to feel it in your quads and your hamstrings and in your glutes. As I'm talking to you right now, I'm already, <laughs> I can feel it. So for this exercise, if you're a beginner, you can start off with doing five reps on each side. So let's go five reps. I've done the other side. Two, three, and when you're going down, you can actually bring the weights closer to your feet like that. Four, last one, five. Whew. Really good work, guys. And the final exercise that we have are squats, okay? So the basic parallel squats. I'm gonna go with the five kg dumbbell that I had before. So the basic squat, again, you can use a barbell for this, but this is a dumbbell only workout for today. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna have your feet shoulder width apart, dumbbell in hand, just like this, and you are going to go down as if you're sitting on a chair or a toilet you see how low i'm going you want to make sure that you keep your squats low like this closer to the ground and then you're going to come up when you come up straight don't do this remember what i told you guys about hyper extending you don't have to hyper extend your glutes you don't have to squeeze your glutes at the top that does not make your glutes grow Despite what a lot of people might think, squeezing your glutes up here is not going to make it grow, okay? Your glutes are activated the most when they are down here. So this is where your glutes are really working because when you come up, you're going to feel it. So all this is unnecessary. So we're gonna do 10 reps of this and let's go. One, two, three, four. Again, remember, slow your movements down, control it. Seven, eight, nine, final exercise, 10. Go ahead and drop your dumbbell. And there you go. Five dumbbell only leg and glute exercises that you can do at the gym or at home, wherever you want. These are honestly the only exercises that you need to grow your glutes and to build your legs. Um, of course, you want to progress with your weights over time. So as time goes on, you wanna start using more equipment, more weights, more machines, but keep your exercises down to the basic minimum. The less, the better. I know a lot of you think that having a variety of exercises is what keeps your workouts fun, but that's not really true when it comes to fitness. Once in a while, you can throw in those cute little exercises that you see on Instagram, but don't ever neglect your compound movements. Don't ever neglect those important key isolation exercises. Those are what's gonna get you to the goals that you want. So that's the video for today. I'm already out of breath, as you can see. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
do these exercises. Let me know what you think. And I will see you guys in my next video.